Live from the CBS Bay Area studios, this is KPIX 5 News. I don't usually get to recover anything that's alive. Huh. It's nice to be able to save something. Now at 6, a small miracle rises from the ashes of paradise as a grim search continues for victims. It is on the uh, west side of the river. Uh, underneath the transmission line, have about a 35 mile an hour sustained wind on it. KPIX 5's Wilson Walker reached the fire's suspected point of origin today, and he found PG&E workers were already there. And a scare in San Jose where a new brush fire sent hundreds of people in a nearby house of worship scrambling for safety. Good evening, I'm Brian Hackney. And I'm Juliette Goodrich. The Camp Fire in Butte County has now grown to 173 square miles. That's nearly the size of the city of San Jose. 23 people are confirmed dead, and that number is expected to rise. The fire has destroyed more than 6,400 buildings, and it is still threatening another 15,000 structures. But crews are making progress, and tonight the Camp Fire is 25% contained. We have team coverage from the fire lines. We'll and Walker has new details about the fire's origin, but we will begin with Katie Nielsen. She's live in the ruins of Paradise, California, where crews are continuing a grim search for victims. Katie. Brian, more than 100 people are still missing here in Paradise and the surrounding communities. That's why five teams from the coroner's office spread out today to try to find those still unaccounted for.